thousand of preferences? A chronic total occlusion is a hundred percent blockage of one of the heart arteries. These are the same heart arteries that cause heart attacks, chest pain, and shortness of breath. I had been told that my condition was impossible, that I had 100% occlusion of my right coronary artery, and that I had to live with it. If it was only open a little bit, they could help me. But 100% occlusion, I was on my own. Previously, the only way to open these arteries would be to do a bypass surgery where you would have a vein or an artery actually put in by a surgeon through open heart surgery to bypass the vessel. In the last couple of years, we've learned new ways and techniques where we can open up these arteries using a procedure called an angioplasty in addition to putting in a stent, which is a little metal scaffold to keep the artery open. There are several ways to open up 100% blockage. One way you can go is through the forward door or the front portion of the blockage. Another way and a newer way is to go through the backwards door where the blockage ends instead of where it begins. Giving the, us the opportunity to be able to open up a blockage from both directions give us a much, much higher chance of success. I was completely at ease and after the procedure was done, what he did was he showed me a little picture on his little telephone and it just looked like clouds. And then he said, now I want to show you this picture. And he showed me that little picture on his little phone and it looked like a river running all the way through it. And he said, you are open. Now, isn't that a relief? The best part of it is that this is often just an overnight stay in the hospital. Patients do not undergo general anesthesia, and they usually end up with just small little band-aids on their groins from where the punctures for the arteries were instead of open heart surgery, which recovery can take up to weeks, if not months. So I do recommend this procedure because the alternative to me uh, would have been open heart surgery for uh, weeks of, of bedtime and, and who knows how that would come out. It wouldn't even be uh, a, a positive result maybe. A lot of the patients uh, experience tremendous relief, tremendous relief of, of shortness of breath or chest discomfort. And even those patients who had what I would call minimal symptoms of just fatigue or just not feeling well for a long time, uh, come back and tell me that they don't, didn't realize how bad they felt until they felt better. Um, and that's very rewarding. That's very rewarding because you really change the patient's lifestyle and what they're able to do and how much they're able to move. Um, one uh, patient recently told me that he's now able to run around with his grandkids and that's, that's really very, very good. And can you imagine how far medicine has come? Now, I'm unlimited. I'm open. My coronary, right coronary artery is all the way open and I recommend this. I recommend it highly because there's no pain. There's just gain. And Catholic Health is not done yet. They're constantly looking for ways to improve and improve for the future.